Hey guys, welcome to another Plastic Crack video review. Today we will be reviewing Marvel Legends series The Punisher. This is a Walgreens exclusive, should be coming out mid-August, uh, maybe end of August, uh, to your local Walgreens retailer. Um, as you can see here, we have regular packaging, uh, kind of like the Namor packaging. It does have the really cool Punisher logo on the, on the bottom. Uh, and right here on the side, we have a really cool picture of the Punisher. And same picture on the other side as well. And then here in the back, it has a uh, really cool picture of Frank Castle as the Punisher. Nice promo pic. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in on that. Get this out of the way so you can actually see it. A ruthless vigilante Punisher single-handedly takes, uh, takes down crime one bad guy at a time. And then, of course, it shows the running wave for Spider-Man, which is uh, um, Absorbing Man, I believe. Yes, it is. And uh, right here on the bottom of the packaging is the barcode. If you guys want to go ahead and take a picture of that, you can do so. And we got some writing. I actually picked this up from a vendor online on the Marvel Legends collecting group. <coughs> He just uh, sent it the other day, and I just picked that up today in the mail. Can't wait to crack this thing open and review it, so stay tuned for that. Let's check it out. Alright, so here we have the figure out of the packaging. Uh, let's take a look at the accessories that it comes with. <coughs> As you can see here, we have... Uh, let's see if I can get a nice... There we go. Uh, we have an uh, M240 machine gun. This is normally issued for military use, uh, which is pretty cool. I like the green paint applications and also the black on there. Uh, it's really detailed, nicely detailed. I really like it. This definitely should have came with uh, with uh, Deadpool, which would have been pretty cool. And then let's take a look at uh, the rocket launcher. Uh, which is pretty nice. Nice paint apps. We've got a little bit of uh, yellowish, greenish color right there around the rocket launcher there. Um, black paint apps. Um, it's pretty much the same rocket launcher as the Deadpool rocket launcher. Let me see if I can get that out so I can show you a comparison here. <coughs> Sorry, I had to get it out of the Ziploc bag. I actually like the paint apps a lot better on the Punisher than I do than I do the the Deadpool rocket launcher. As you can see here, we have both to compare. Uh, pretty much the same thing, uh, just different paint apps. And of course, they didn't come with a stupid boxing glove right there, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then it also came with this. I'm not sure what type of type of gun this is. This is like a like a shotgun, like a t like kind of like a Tommy gun slash shotgun, uh, where you just go ch -ch -ch right there, and then it pumps out. Like it's like a pump action shotgun, I guess. Um, don't like the paint apps on this. I mean, I like the gun. But I wish it would have been different. Uh, it's all white, and there's this yellow line right there, which is it's just okay. I mean, it comes with it, so you can't really complain. Uh, and it also comes with this interchangeable head, which is <clears throat> pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, let's see if I can get a light up right there. Nice paint apps right there. Came out really nice and clear. I like that hair right there sticking out. I like a 5 o'clock shadow right there, which is nice too. Hair just came out black. It's like these little white spots right there in the back of the head but it doesn't really bother me. Sculpt came out nice. Overall pretty nice head. Um, and then if you pop this off, just push it on that. Pops on pretty nicely. And uh, let's take a look at this head sculpt right here. So we can... There we go. like the angry face on this. like the bandana, it came out really nice. Nice paint-ups. Nice sculpt. 
Actually, I like this head more than that one. This, uh, this is a comic style Jim, uh, Jim Lee Punisher, which is nice. I've always wanted to get one of those. You can see his teeth came out really nice and clean. Not bad at all. His eyes look really nice. Good sculpt. He doesn't have a 5 o'clock shadow right there on this one. But he does on that one. Overall, very nice figure. Well, head, of course, but... Let's take a look at the the figure now. Alright, so let's take a look at the figure itself. Uh, very nice. Uh, very nice Punisher figure. Came out pretty nice. Uh, good paint apps. Sculpt on it. Looks perfect. And I think it is on that Grim Reaper body mold, though, for sure. I think it is. Um, like the the little strap that he has right here, the grenades, shotgun shells right there, paint, uh, paint apps and sculpts came out really nice on it. Let's see if I can get a clear picture there. There we go. Grenades came out nice. <clears throat> paint up on the sculpt right here in the middle came out pretty nice. Uh, it's a little crooked though, as you can see here. Um, well, let me see if I can. Oh, never mind. I can just move the belt over, and so it can look even right there. Uh, yeah, his holster came out, not the holster, but his belt came out nice. Paint apps on the gloves came out nice too. It's just paint, it's not sculpted or anything like that. It has a hole right here in the back, so I think it is the Grim Reaper mold. It has some numbers right there on the side of his leg peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Let's take a look at the articulation here. Head does go far up like that. I'm not a big fan of that big old gap right there between his neck, but it's okay. And his head does go far down. Do a full 360. It does have a pivot at the neck as well, so his head does pivot nicely. And he has that doo -doo 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 -doo. And uh, arms do go far up like that. Do go far to the side like this and it has a swivel up the upper arm right there double jointed at the elbow as a swivel at the wrist and also a hinge as you can see here same articulation on the other side of the arm uh, and does have a ab crunch that does go far back like this much not that much but it's there and he does crunch forward not that much as well and uh, he does have a swivel at the waist, as you can see here. And the cool thing is that this doesn't really hinder articulation, his belt, which is nice. Legs do go far up like this. They do go not that far back, as you can see here. Swivel at the upper leg. Double jointed at the knees. Swivel at the calf. Swivel, uh, calf rotation right there. Uh, feet do go far up like that. They do go far down, and he does have that ankle pivot as well. And again, holes at the bottom of the feet. And as you can see here, he does hold the weapons pretty nicely with his hands. Uh, for example, this gun right here. And then we have this rocket launcher here, which he holds nice. The only thing is, is that he doesn't have a trigger finger, which is kind of shitty. Uh, but it's okay. I mean, you can always get an X-Acto knife and just cut right there, right in the middle of between his fingers, and you'll be okay. You can make some uh, some trigger fingers. Not a not a big big deal, really. Um, and then also this weapon here, he grabs that nicely. And again, you can make a trigger finger yourself. But overall, uh, really nice figure. And uh, once these hit retail stores at Walgreens. I highly recommend it for sure. Um, so, yeah. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Take care, guys. Bye. Oh, and uh, check out my pictures at the end of the video.